powerful now. And, and, and even without the Ramban's additions to it, I mean, that's, uh, in, in today's world, it's enough of, 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 uh, I mean, that a lot of the problem with the, with the world today is because they don't understand it. Yeah? They don't, they don't, they really don't understand holiness at all. I mean, they don't really understand, they don't understand the concept of holiness at all. Yeah, they understand the concept of being good, they understand, they understand the concept of being spiritual, maybe. They don't, uh, they don't understand the concept of being holy. Right? We have our uh, lives separated out to the concept, the whole concept today is that's true. And you can't have moms or anything you're talking about. Come back in your That's true. Okay, that's, that's pretty much the Ramban. Well, that was that was the Ramban. But let's speak about. Smithy. Why? There is there is why is I mean I mean why yeah, I mean to understand I mean the concept it's 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 not really explainable holiness. It's like you know if you if it's not it's not something that you can explain. But if you saw it, you know what it is. Right? If you see it, you, when you see a holy man, you know what it is. Yeah? But to explain it, why is he holy, what makes him holy, it's hard to explain. But Rashi, Rashi gives you, Rashi says, but you want to know one, one of the major, uh, major prerequisites is it, is Purushim and Arayis. Yeah? And that's how you deal with, with, with relationships, or, or anything, or anything that has to do with actual marriage. How do you deal with that? Yeah? How do you deal with that? That ha- a lot, of, a lot of it. That's where holiness has. Uh, holiness is very much in into that. And in today's world, they don't really understand that. You know, what's the difference? I'm ethical. I'm good. You know, what's the difference? What I do? Yeah. What's the difference? How I deal? How I live my my personal life? Right. I mean, just you know. Well, yesterday, what's the name? The, the governor from New Jersey, who was uh, okay. he decided he wants to be a priest. Right. Well, no, that's what he said. Right he's becoming, yeah, he's becoming, becoming, becoming a priest. Yeah. Now, now, is he becoming a priest? Yeah, he's, he's becoming, becoming a priest. Body. Now, and and, and, and I mean, voice, it sounds it sounds like a bad joke, right? It does. I mean, really, huh? It, it sounds like a bad joke, right? It sounds like a continuation of the whole church thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, but uh, how can but 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 uh, but in, uh, but uh, he, but twenty years ago he wouldn't even have the goal to even say it, right? Well, no, no, Today he has the goal to say it. It's, it's still a joke. But twenty years from now won't even be a joke. Now that what he's doing now is encouraged because everybody's like, yeah, look at him. Like, that's see, like, we could be gay, we could do this. It's see, people look at it as a good joke. And that and he could be a priest, right? Social evolution. Jews are becoming and that's it. Okay. We're now becoming more visually. No, it's not, if I'm going dis- to discuss things like this, if I'm going to uh, speak about it uh, logically or philosophically, you're going to say, so what's wrong? I mean, what's, what's wrong? I mean, it's not something I could speak about. Uh, I mean, it's either, listen, holy he's not, right? And holy he's never going to be, right? Be it's not, you're not, it's not, I mean, but it's, it's not holy. I mean, so if when, when, I mean, that was something that was understood, yeah? Understood by anyone that obviously that someone is, is, is into, into these things and he's not holy, right? He's just not holy. You know, uh, uh, he might be a nice guy, he might be, uh, but, he, he might, but he's not holy. I mean, that's, so that's what Rashi explains here. Rashi, when Rashi says it goes after the psukim of, 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 of all the and Achimot, the, the, the all that we had, all the psukim of of, of uh, the illicit relationships, yeah, of of all the all the of incest, all the all the halachas of what's called incest and what is not, with wh- who you're allowed to live with, yeah, is uh, so then after so the Torah says kedoshim to you, that besides that you have to be holy. This is a precious. That means that that should not. Uh, that should not consume your life with the uh, busy with with uh, with with uh, these matters, which is uh, when when in a world where you're bombarded with it almost uh, it's 24/7. I mean, it's uh, and anyone and people who have a television in their house, yeah, if that, there's only one message, yeah, the huh? It's all, that's what it is. Yeah, it's just sure. constantly. It's or it's constantly. Uh, it's one message. You know, television and internet. The internet is not as bad. I'll explain to you very quickly. Okay. Sorry. Uh, 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 no, no, let, let me that. exactly. Internet is a choice. So you can choose where you want to go. TV is there all the time. Whether it's commercial, yeah, but you watch, yeah. watch Discovery Channel is there. Well, I don't know if internet is really so much your choice. Uh, 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 uh
there are pop ups and there's uh, internet is uh, internet's a pop up. Internet is definitely right, a pop up. And then because internet's your choice, there's a lot you can get a lot more on the internet than you can uh, get on television. I mean that's that's just yeah, a basic yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, Even I told somebody to go look for a job, and I, I was looking at something month month ago. I was looking for the called Jewish Jobs Weekly, so I told her to go and look at there. She typed in Jewish Jobs Weekly, and it pops up Jewish Adult Friend Finder. Yeah, yeah so that's uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So when Rashi says to, to uh, see second. holiness, I need a second. See the way a man conducts himself in these relationships, but you can't see how someone can. No, you don't. You don't have to get out sense of that relationship. But but that person, if he's a holy man, yeah, there's an aura around him, right? That you this person's holy. You could tell. You could see holiness. I mean, you can feel holiness. Someone who's uh, who's into it can feel holiness. Yeah. Not even uh, even and that uh, you can feel. So that that there's something there. There's something. That means there's something. I'm not going to explain it physically because it's not physical. It's metaphysical. It's it's a it's it's, it's a, on a different realm. Yeah, it is on a different realm. But we have but you have a soul in you, right? That soul works on a different realm. Yeah, the the it works on a different realm. The laws are on a different realm. Everything works on a different realm. If a person wants that 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 the, the soul should should shine through all that garbage that's there. You gotta be. So you have to. You have to be a little holy, yeah. And uh, and the holiness and, and and Rashi says that that has to do with Rashi has to, says that it has to do with arayis, yeah. But the Rambani answers to that. So now the Rambani answers. No, it doesn't say prushim and arayis. It says prushim to you. Be separated. What does it mean? Be separated. So the Rambani says like this. So he says the He says the, the same thing. This is the spirit of the law. So he says like this. Katoyer is here about arayis of acholos asurim. The Torah told you. What type of sexual relationships are allowed and what are, aren't allowed? The Torah said what type of food you're allowed to eat and what type of food you're not allowed to eat. But the Torah did allow that Tira Habia Ishbi Ishtoi, Rachilat Habosa Bayai. The Torah allowed you to eat. The Torah allowed you to live with your wife. Obviously, yeah. Now, in Kenya Motsis, the Ramban gives the same thing. Now he gives you a lot. Let me show you what, the world, what you can look like with a Heksha. Right? With a heksha, right? Written down according with rabbinical approval, right? Yeah. According to rabbinical approval. So the Ramban says, look at Kayimsa Bal Taiva, yeah, a person that goes after his desires, Mokali Shutta Bezimas Ishta or Noshim Harabis. Because uh, and because in the Torah's time they, they uh, at that time and by uh, even by Sfardim today, if, uh, if they are, are allowed to have more than one wife, right? You could even have more than one wife, right? Have so you could have uh, so he can have a couple of wives, right? Yeah, I can. Uh, I mean, he, uh, he can. Uh, so he can have a harem like the like the, like the Saudi princes, right? Uh, uh, so, huh? Huh? Adab, but the Eitz Tovah, the the Eitz Okay, that's right. Uh, uh, okay, uh, king, uh, king should have more than Shmona today. Yeah. Solomon, no, he wasn't allowed to have more than eighty, but let's say. Huh? King, King up to 18. Uh, up to 18. So what did Salman do? Wrong? Salman did wrong. You know what is to have 18 mother-in-law? Salman did wrong. <laughs> they don't live in the palace. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and believe the say yayin. Yeah. He could be a drunkard. Yeah. Bezayin le basalomai. Yeah. A glutton. The yadabah kirtayin b'chol anavelis. Yeah. He could be put a speak with a speak Terrible thing. <laughs> Speak whatever he wants, as long as it's not washing harder. So the huske is to have a Torah. It doesn't say that it's in the Torah. Vehina yia novel b'shus haTorah. Yeah, novel b'shus haTorah. Yeah, this person is is a person. He's a he's a how would you call novel in English? Yeah, degenerate. Huh? A degenerate. A oh. degenerate b'shus haTorah. Exactly. That would be the the word. Yeah, he's a degenerate. But everything Bishut Tatora. I hate to say David Amelech, but we were comparing certain things that were done Maybe. totally within the law that we said. We were. With David Amelech? He was saying he, he cut the law, he knows about a get, knew uh, about Nida, knew about this, okay, but. Okay. 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 Different story. No, no. We'll leave it though. Let's leave it out. Yeah. But uh, a person yeah, could be. A person could be. A person, so a person could be a novel Bishut Tatora, right? Mm -hmm. Completely de degenerate, but everything he did, nothing wrong. Nothing. So now, is that now on that the Torah says now? The Torah says no, no, no. The Fika Chola Kosov. So this Tosik says, Achrei Sheparat Ha'Yisurim She'Osta Oisim Legamri. Yeah. Now the Torah gives you a general rule. Shniya Prushim and Amaysores. Anything that's extra, that's not really needed for life, 
separate yourself from that. Separate. Separate yourself from, from desires that are unneeded. Luxury. Idle talk. Which is idle talk, exactly. Yeah. But, but, so you, what does he say? You might the musical, yeah? Even in the amount of times he lives with his wife, right? Yeah, the Torah says that one of the reasons at the time of at the time now we don't have. I mean, there is no halacha of tefillat Ezra, yeah. Tefillat Ezra that any time when a person uh, the halacha is that any time a person lives with at the time of the Gemara, yeah, at the time of the at the time of the Tanoim. Any time a person lived with his wife, he had in order if he wanted to dive in the next morning or he wanted to learn the next day, he had to go to a mix. Right? He had to go to a mix. Yeah? The Gemara says we were Mavatal Tfila says. Yeah. It became too onerous, it was hard to find water. It became uh, and, and and so the Gemara brought a reason. The Ramam brings down that the uh, it's Tfila Tezra. However, Mar says, what was the reason for Tfila Tezra? One of the reasons. That Talmud Chochum should not be always with his wife like a rooster. Well, he uses the Russian, right? Like a rooster is always busy with the hens, right? There's always a, that a, a Talmud Chochum should not always be busy with his wife. Why? If, if he knows that in order that the next day, in order for him to daven, he has to find the mikvah, yeah, and or he has to find. Oh, that's that, okay. You're making it hard on him. You're not making it. You're not making it easy on him. Yeah. In fact, there's a there's a there's a that so that so there's a by chidim they go to mikveh every day. See them go to mikveh every day. They go. They huh? The men. The men. Men go to mikveh every day. You usually go to mikveh every day. So it is a and the chetan so fair. The Yeshiva is named after, or where I teach, which is named after. There's a Mishnah, there's a Tesefta in Yodayim. Tesefta in Yodayim brings down that there was a, a dialogue between the Prushim and the Tovle Shacharit. Prushim and Tovle Shacharit. So the Prushim, huh? Prushim. So the Prushim were the ones that, Prushim at Pharisees. the time, the Pharisees. Pharisees. Yeah? Pharisees. Famous, the, uh, the, uh, called the Pharisees were called the Prushim. Prushim were the Chachamim. Why were they called Prushim? Because they were Mekayim this Kedoshim to you. Yeah? They did this Kedoshim to you. They, but uh, by that, at that time, at the time of, of the time of, uh, the, in the time of the Tanaim, yeah? Talking the time of the second, uh, the second temple. Time of the second temple, there was Tuma and Tyra. There was cleanliness and uncleanliness, halochas of, of not, of not touching a, a dead person, not being in the same room as a dead person. There was we had the, we had the paraduma. So if someone be touched a dead person, so he would be seven days he would be unclean, and then he they would they would uh, spray on him the water, and then then and then he would and uh, then he would become clean. Those halachas were those halachas were operative. We don't have it. We don't have those halachas today. It's impossible. We don't have it. It's impossible. So at that time, the perushim were people that even not only when they ate something. There are certain things that if you if you eat something holy, a sacrifice has to be has to be in the clean. It has to be clean. Or truma that you give to a kain, yeah, the part that was given over to a kain has halachas of cleanliness on it. Chulim, what we eat, there is no halacha. The prushim always were clean. They were always clean. Yeah, they were constantly clean. Why? Because that's part of being separate. Part of being separate is being away from things that are unclean. Yeah, that's a part of being separate. In order to be, in order to be holy, you have to be separate. Holiness constitutes connotes can, the connotation of holiness is separate. Kedoshim to you means you have to go. It's about thirty one. You have time still? We go a little further. Yeah. All right. So, huh? <laughs> the connotation of holiness is in Oh, is okay. Is um the one key that no, 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 yeah, they went to the mikveh every day. So the so the Torah Shacharit told the Prushim 
that if you would go to the mikvah every day, you would be holy like us, right? 